Hello, hello. How's the YouTube world treating you guys? Thank you for clicking on my uh, Ford's V10. Uh, I'm here to discuss the 10th cylinder of Ford and why I like it and the cons and all that fun stuff. So here we go. We'll just talk about a little bit of the history of the V10. It was produced in 1997 and is still being produced today. Uh, you won't find that in the Super Duties. Uh, they made their way to the F450s, to the F750s. This is 2019. I assume that Ford will drop the 6.8 liter when that new gas 7.3 comes out to replace it. All right, let's get a little show off here. Here's this beautiful beast idling is smooth. It just idles so smooth. Jesus, and cylinders. It's a nice uh, rainy southern day, Southern California day. There we go. So let's talk about this beast. Uh, we'll go over the different types of engines. There's uh, basically two types. There's the two valver, which this is it. This is the two valve producing uh, 310 horsepower and 425 foot pounds of torque. Pretty decent. Uh, the three valve, which I think comes in in a little later, 2005 and newer, um, they produced about 360 HP horsepower and 457 foot pounds of torque. Pretty good. Uh, you find these in a lot of cars and trucks. Well, not cars, I should say. A lot of trucks, even though I did see someone on YouTube put a V10 in their Mustang. So, maybe cars, if you want to squeeze a V10 in a Mustang. I don't know why you would. It's not a horsepower machine. But, uh, mostly Super Duty trucks. The F250. Uh, had this. Uh, this is a Ford Excursion, so this is a rare bird beast of itself. Um, and a lot of the motorhomes, a lot of motorhomes, have this put in uh, put in their truck. There, um, some of the E350s, the vans Ford made had V10s in them. Um, Pretty reliable machine, I'd like to say. A little fun fact, if you look down here. Let me turn the light on. Oh man, I'm getting soaked. So I hope you guys appreciate this low budget. Uh, maybe it's best to read it up here. Right there. U-L-E-V. A lot of people are like, what the hell is a U-L-E-V? What the hell does it have to do with a gas guzzling tin cylinder? Well, this is, and almost everyone I've seen, actually everyone I've seen, is an ultra-low em emission vehicle. And how do you, how can you make a gas guzzling nightmare like this ultra-low emission vehicles? So that comes into play with compression. Compression is around nine and a little bit more, but nine and one. It's not very high. It's not a freaking race car machine. And this big Momo Jumbo down here, huge Momo Jumbo, right there. That thing is almost the biggest cat we see in the smog industry. Look at that. It takes one. It's a humongous cat. This one's four wheel drive. You can't see the transfer case right there. And a solid front axle. 
rump, rump. And the good thing I like the most about this thing, you don't see in a lot of American cars, is a drain plug for the transmission. Right there. He's a beast. Got my cheap Walmart battery, but I'll just leave that right there. AGM technology. We got the charcoal canister. There, filter, which is, looks pretty restricted. I'll change out this pull. All 10 plus. Iridium spark plugs, twin tips, so the electrode and the ground strap have a uh, iridium on it. Plus a good coil like that should last me as long as this vehicle. I'm not going to change them. I'm going to go until I get a misfire. I will not change them after this. I will drive it until it misfires. I've spent enough to never do it again. I also torqued the spark plug down 25 foot pounds which is a lot more than Ford uh, I think Ford wanted around 14 to 16 foot pounds so I, I torqued it a little more they're known the spark plugs are known to be shallow on these engines it's just a bad design um, I kicked the guy that did it I mean they're like let's make a reliable engine and then an engineer came in and said let's take some spark plug threads out of the spark plug and then, and then let's ship it out the door fucking assholes other than that besides spitting spark plugs out and the manifold bolts snapping I got one down there just one so far I don't know if you can see it there you go These are good cars. Beats gas like a son of a bitch. They have about 10 miles to the gallon. They run, they drive, and they, you know. It's on the original starter. It's on the original alternator. Put a new fan, a new, uh, put a new, uh, fan belt, which is the serpentine belt, and some coolant hoses and a new thermostat and tuned it up. Clean the car, or clean the car, clean the throttle body, carburetor, dummy. Yeah, it did good. You know? It's a good engine. She idles so smooth. So smooth. It's good for like, I've read online these are good for like 300,000 miles. So this is a weird one. We're in the year of 2000. This, was made in 2000. 2000 model. And it's an EPA regulation right there. Federal certified. And it is not OBD2. And people might call me a liar. But there's an easy way to figure this out. Is if it has the sticker down here says it's a federal 2. For heavy duty vehicles, catalysts, but it has no rear oxygen sensor. I'll try to show you. There's nothing. No rear oxygen. There's two up front, but there's only two oxygen sensors in this truck. That's how it came from the factory, and it is a hundred percent. OBD1. So, put a little aftermarket uh, cooler on it. I got the front bumper drying over here. A little blacked out. That's alright. It'll do. <coughs> Let's see, I just smogged this beast. And if people call me a liar, Let's see here. I think this is it right here. We got Ford. 
don't know if you can see it very well. The light kind of sucks. So we got ratings. RPM. Miles per hour, RPM, VO2, 15.7, which is good. No oxygen coming out of the tailpipe, which is good. My max hydrocarbon, which is just raw fuel, is 130. I scored a 14, a little bit higher than average. My CO max is a little more than half a percent, 0.2. 7.2, the average is 0.04, I scored a 0, and then my nitrous oxide, NOx, this is probably why it's such a ULEV, 17.50 is my limit, that is insane, and zero, 5 and a 0 on both measurements, so if anybody says this thing doesn't pollute, I'm telling you right now, She's, she doesn't pollute at all. Other than that, it is an all good truck. Put this uh, grill on and go home. I'm glad you guys watched. All right. Oh, and uh, if I didn't say, Ford made, well, Ford doesn't know how many engines they've made on this. Uh, it's probably upward to a million engines made and produced. So, it's a reliable engine. It's pretty damn nice. I love it. I'm going to see if I can get that 300,000. I got 142 on the clock, so. Alright. Oh, this was new. Just cracked right here. It wasn't that much dormant part. Let's see if it holds up half as long as the original one. I'll be happy for half as long dormant. I hate dormant parts. Alright. Thanks. Bye.